Yeah, I've gone with the same team. The boys uh, performed well last weekend. You know, I, I felt reward for their uh, performance first up and you know, it gives us a little bit of continuity and confidence going forward also. We've done it now for uh, the last 12 months. Uh, last year we conceded the second least number of tries in the competition. We pride ourselves on it. We've worked really hard in the pre-season and uh, I, I, I thought you know, the character that the group showed the other night under pressure uh, was outstanding. And I think also the composure when we went down to 14 men was a testament to the work that we've done in pre-season. Look, I think the history, you know, it's probably been a little bit understated throughout the week. The one thing, though, the group have, very, have got a very clear understanding of uh, who we represent, uh, what's gone before us and uh, what's at stake this weekend. You know, the Templeton, Templeton Cup's been here uh, for a number of years now and the boys don't want to let go of it. Certainly last year, you know, following the back of his, his test debut was probably a disappointing one for him, but he's worked really hard in the pre-season, got himself back to full fitness. Even though he'd had the shoulder reconstruction, he'd uh, involved himself in pretty much everything on field. And I think he came into the season with a lot more confidence than he'd had the, uh, the previous year. And that, again, that was reflected in his form throughout the pre-season. I think he's got a really good work ethic. And certainly he's trying to evolve his game and how he works off his wing and finds uh, opportunities across the field. As Richard might have said before, um, I'm really just looking to evolve my game more and do more work for the team off the blind wing rather than sitting on the open side and just waiting for the ball, um, which is something I don't think I really did even two years ago. So in that respect, I think I've moved further along. Um, and then it's just obviously finishing off the, off the back line movements, um, which should be second nature to me by now. So yeah, I think I've moved along a bit since then. Yeah, I think it's uh, really important because uh, we, we did have Quaid back with us in the backfield last year and the year before that. Uh, but with the shift around in defence, uh, we've got a true fullback at fullback now. So. It's, been, it's actually been quite enjoyable working with um, Lockie and Aiden on our defensive play and positioning because um, that's probably the most important part of our game because that determines basically where we're going to be on the field. It's been a big start to the season, so we had the Brumbies, we got the Waratahs, uh, we got one game at home, then we go to Africa. So for us, it's a pretty, pretty tough start to the season. So you know, we know the importance of winning these first few games um, to take the pressure of us, off us in Africa. So uh, games like this, it being New South Wales as well, makes it massive for us. It's generally the usual suspects are doing all the talking. Um, I think we look to like the uh, older players for guidance, but yeah, there's definitely a lot of enthusiasm, maybe more so than other weeks for this week especially.